All right, guys, glad to be with you here again. We've got the New York Giants once again as um, they are hosting the Chicago Cubs here. This is uh, June 1st, 1949. And uh, we'll see how it goes for the uh, home team at uh, 30 and 13 or the Giants. The Cubs, of course, 15 and 25, not doing so well. It's going to be Clint Hartung here on the mound for the uh, Giants. And uh, Clint is uh, pitching on short rest, so we'll see how this works. He's thrown a strike here so far to Hank Edwards. And uh, the next pitch is swung on, hit over to Kerr at short. Kerr fields that and throws to first for the first out. Herman Reich now uh, takes the ball. Reich hitting 260, 327 the on-base percentage. Um, he lays off of that one outside. 2-0 and is the count. And there's a strike over the plate. The Giants um, have played a lot of games in a row. We had uh, t- uh, two doubleheaders in a row in a game um, on uh, May 31st and now hosting the Cubs. 2-1 and the count on Reich. That's fouled away. It's 2-2. Two and two. And that's hit over to right field, and Marshall runs way back over to grab that one, almost 400 feet away for the second out. It's uh, two out here now, and here's Penis Lowry, who takes the ball, 1-0 and the count. And that's way inside fastball, 2-0 and now. There's a pitch on the inner half for a strike, and it's 2-1 and one on Peanuts. Lowry hitting 257, fouls one away, it's 2-2 two and two on him. Three home runs, uh, 314 on base percentage as he takes ball three. It'll be a full count, and that's down and in for ball four, and he'll go to first base, bringing up Andy Pafko. So the uh, Cubs not exactly murderer's row here, Pafko taking a ball, uh, but they do have some offense. There's a strike now to pa- uh, to Andy, and it's 1-1. Uh, one and one. That's a fly out of play. It's a 1-2 count on Andy, and there's a ground ball over to first base that will ricochet off of Mize, but he recovers in time and goes to the bag for the out. And we go to the bottom of the first, no score. Willard Marshall will come up for New York, uh, hitting 310, um, probably the best hitter on the team, and uh, that's the reason why we have him hitting leadoff. Slugging percentage is just a hair under 500. And he takes a ball inside, 1-0, and, oh, and there's another ball that misses. It's 2-0 and oh on uh, Marshall. Let's hit over into right field. Edwards is there and makes the catch easily. One away. Bill Rigney now takes a ball. Slider off the plate. 1-0. and There's a strike in tight. 3-12 is his average. And uh, also, like Marshall, good on base percentage, good slugging percentage as he fouls one away. It's 1-2. and two. It's fouled away again. Still 1-2 and two on Rigney. It's a ground ball over to Smalley at short, and he makes the play and throws the first two away. Here is Sid Gordon now. Sid Gordon hitting 305, and uh, the Giants looking a little bit better in terms of uh, on base percentage, slugging percentage, and all overall offense than the Cubs. 1-1 the count on Gordon. Uh, starting here today is uh, Do- uh, Doyle Laid for the Cubs, who's 2-3, and 5.40 ERA. Um, he actually has some rest, though, unlike uh, the uh, Giants uh, starter Clint Hartung. There's a fly ball, 2-1 pitch over to right field. It will be uh, Edwards who grabs that for the out, and we go to the top of the second inning. It'll be uh, Roy Smalley up here. So Smalley um, takes a ball, first pitch coming in. It's 1-0. and There's another one that misses inside, 2-0, and and there's a ball, 3, that misses to Roy, 3-0. and and there's a strike to him. It's 3-1. and one. And that's hit over Kerr's head at uh, shortstop in the left field for the base hit. And so Smalley will go over to first base. That brings up um, email for Bond with a runner on at first. Ground ball to the right side. Rigney second base has that. Flips over to Kerr for one. They throw to first, but not in time. for Bond beat it out. And so there still is a runner at first for the Cubs. That'll bring up Bob Ramazzotti. That's hit over to left field off the trademark. First pitch swinging. That's in front of Lockman for a base hit. So Ramazzotti, before we can introduce him, uh, gets a base hit. And uh, that'll bring up here the catcher, Rube Walker. Runners on at first and second. Only one out for the Cubs. Walker hitting a dismal 133. He fouls one away. He's only here in this game because the other catcher is uh, tired. There's a ball to Rube. It's 1-1. One and, one. and there's strike two on him. 1-2. and two. And that misses high. 2-2 two and two is the count on Walker. Ground ball over to first base, and um, well, Mize had that, um, flipped over to Hartung, and that ball got loose, and uh, Hartung was unable to um, get it in time to make the play, and so Verbond and Ramazzotti move up a bag, and Walker safe on the air. It should have been a good play. It was a poor throw um, over by Mize, and they're going to give the uh, first baseman the air on that one. So uh, bases are loaded now for Doyle Laid. Uh, bases loaded two, uh, one out is all here in the uh, top of the second inning, and there's a ball high to Lade, so Hartung not sure what he's doing. 
There's a little ground ball over to shortstop, and unfortunately, um, Kerr's only play is to first base. Um, that was hit too slowly for the double play, and so the run scores. It's a one nothing game for the Cubs, and here again is Hank Edwards. Runners on at second and third with two outs, and that's a ball low to Edwards. It's hit deep to center field, and uh, Thompson, of course, easily able to go back and get that for the out, and we'll go to the bottom of the second inning. One nothing to score now, and uh, here is Bobby Thompson who made that play to end the inning, hitting 3.09. He takes a ball. It's a one and zero on him, and uh, there's a strike. One and one's the count. That's foul the way back to the screen. One and two, and it's a line drive between third base and shortstop into left field that lands in front of Penis Lowry for a base hit for Thompson. That's the first hit for the Giants. That'll bring up uh, Johnny Mize. Let's do some hit and run. See what happens. There's a fly ball over to right field. It's not what we wanted. Edwards has that for the out. Thompson goes back to first, so uh, one away. Now Whitey Lockman throw to first. Thompson not moving this time. There's a ball high to Lockman. It's 1-0. and Another throw back to first base. He's still not going anywhere. That next pitch is a breaking ball inside for a ball. 2-0 and is the count. There's a uh, strike in there. Change up by Lade. It's 2-1. Uh, and one. And another throw back to first. Nothing doing. And uh, next pitch comes into Whitey Logman. Sorry, the uh, dog's playing with the cords down here. There's a ground ball over to uh, Reich, who uh, throws over to Smalley for one and then forgets to go back and cover the bag, I guess, is what's happening. They're saying that, yeah, nobody at first. Uh, that's what happened here. Uh, Doyle Laid um, uh, forgot to cover the bag. I suppose that's who's going to get the blame. And so uh, that ends up uh, being a ball that should have been a double play, ends up only getting one. Would have been a 3-6-1 double play. I'm not sure how often I've seen that one. A little bit odd there, play by play. Either way, there's two away. And here's Mickey Livingston with the runner on at first base. And uh, Livingston takes a strike and then swings and misses that fastball zone, too. And there's a ball low. One and two is the count on Mickey. Popped up behind the play, now to play. Still one and two on Livingston. That's hit down the left field line, and that baby is gone. Fair ball down the line, and, and that makes this a 2-1 ball game just like that. So Livingston uh, lights him up, and it's a 2-1 lead all of a sudden for the Giants. For Livingston, that is his fourth home run this season against four in real life, and um, he's done it here in uh, 64 at-bats compared to 57 in real life, so we may have been overplaying him a bit. Um, though I would argue that there's not much we can do about that. Here now is Buddy Kerr, who takes the strike, and it's 0-1 on Buddy. And there's a ball inside, high and tight, 1-1. One and one. Misses low, it's 2-1 and one now on Kerr, and there's strike two on him, 2-2. Two and two. There's a ground ball over to the left side. Smalley diving stop is able to get to that one, but uh, Kerr is going to be safe at first base. Smalley can't get that out of his glove. That'll bring up the uh, pitcher, Clint Hartung. So 2-1 lead for the Giants. Runner on at first. Here's Clint Hartung, who takes the strike. Hits one to left field. That's home run distance, but that is just foul. 0-2 oh, now the count on Hartung. He really have four home runs in real life? I mean, that's uh, pretty impressive for a guy who had 63 at-bats. And there's a called strike three in there on Clint, and uh, he goes down looking. We go to the top of the third inning, and uh, for the Cubs, it's going to be uh, Herman Reich to start this off. So uh, here comes Reich, who fouls one away. It's 0-1. Uh, next pitch is outside for a ball, 1-1, and and that's too far inside, 2-1 and on Herman. Another ground ball over to Rigney, the second baseman, and he'll throw to first for the out, one away. Peanuts Lowry comes up now. Walked last time up. He takes the ball high this uh, for the first pitch and then hits that one over past Mize into right field for a base hit. Lowry thinking two, but um, ends up settling for one. And uh, that will bring up Andy Pafko. So uh, Lowry gets on base again. Here comes Pafko, who's 0 for 1 so far today. 272 is what he's hitting. And um, there's a ground ball to the uh, left side. Sid Gordon will have that. Lowry was moving on the pitch. No play at second base. And so Gordon throws to first for the out. And there's two away. Roy Smalley now looking perhaps for a, an, an RBI. Um, he fouls one off to the left side. And uh, that's going to be a foul ball, of course. The count 0-1. Smalley so far this season, 16 RBIs. Um, and uh, takes a fastball for a ball, 1-1. One one. There's a pop-up foul out of play. That one is foul. One and two is the count now on Roy. And that's foul back. Still is one and two. Foul tip, and Livingston can't hold on. It's still one and two, and that's off the plate for a ball. Two and two. Another foul ball. And that's outside. Full count now on Roy Smalley. And there's another foul ball on him. 
There's a little ground ball over up the middle. Kerr, the shortstop, has that. Throws on to first for the out, and we'll go to the bottom of the third inning. Still 2-1 to one Giants. Here again is uh, Willard Marshall. That's a big breaking ball from Lay, and that one ends up in the dirt for the first ball. It's a 1-0 count. And that's low, 2-0. and Bottom of the third inning, 2-1 to one Giants. And um, that's inside on Marshall, 3-0 and the count quickly. There's a strike to him. It's 3-1. and one. And that's low and away, so he does get the walk, and that'll bring up Bill Rigney, runner on at first base. Um, nobody out here, bottom of the third, 2-1, to one, uh, the uh, Giants with the lead. And uh, Rigney takes the curve inside, 1-0. and oh. Throw to first, nothing doing. And there's a ball off the plate, slider, 2-0 and is the count on Bill. And there's a strike, it's 2-1 and one on Rigney. And there's ball three high, so he gets, gets behind this batter, and uh, there's ball four, he loses him. Laid two walks in a row. I'm looking at his stats right now. 28 walks so far in this uh, replay against 58 in real life. So he's um, kind of uh, been squeezed a little bit by the umpires. For 28 walks against 14 strikeouts, and um, he's getting himself in a lot of trouble here. Here's now Sid Gordon. Nobody out, and um, there's a ball uh, to Gordon. It's 1-0. and Runners on first and second, and that's up. And uh, Gordon hits that deep to center field. That's the wrong place to hit it. Pafco kind of spins around, falls around a little bit, but is able to get there for the out. Willard Marshall at second uh, tags up and is able to go to third. So we got runners on the corners now for the Giants. Only one away, and here is Bobby Thompson. Thompson had a base hit earlier today, so uh, hitting one for one. The ground ball over to the shortstop. We're going to have Marshall try to score, and uh, Roy Smalley makes the play and has to go to first with it, no play at second. So Brigney moves up, the run scores, and it's a 3-1 to one lead. Here now is Johnny Mize, and he hits that one deep to right field, and that baby's gone. Home run number 10 of the season for Mize, and that makes this just like that, a 5-1 to one game. That's how quickly this team can strike. Tenth homer of the season for Mize, and um, boy, that was just a flash <laughs> flash of the eye, and all of a sudden it's 5-1. to one. It was a 2-1 game just a couple of seconds ago, and now it's 5-1. to one. Here's Whitey Lockman with a 1-1 one one count on him. And that's it over to left field, and that will fall in front of Lowry again for another base hit. So runner on at first again, and the Giants threatening again. Here is Mickey Livingston. He hits a ground ball first pitch swinging over to Roy Smalley, who flips over to the uh, second baseman, uh, uh, Emil Verbon, for the force out, and we will go to the top of the fourth inning. But it is a 5-1 lead for the Giants. Here comes Verbon. Top of the fourth, and he takes a ball, and there's another ball on him. It's 2-0. and oh. Gr- Line drive over to third base, but Sid Gordon able to jump up and snag that out of the air for the first out. One away. Ramazzotti takes a ball high, and there's a strike. Hitting 185, he got that base hit last time up. 2-1 and one is the count on him, and there's a swing and a miss, 2-2. Two and two. 185, and as... As much as it can be, it's an empty 185 with a 204 slugging percentage and hardly any walks. Full count now on Bob. See if he gets a walk here. There's a foul ball out of play. Full count remains. Ground ball foul, third base line. That's hit deep to left center field. Thompson, the center field, he goes back and grabs that for the out. There's two away. Here is Rube Walker. It's a strike in there to Rube. And a pop-up. Livingston, the catcher, goes back, grabs that one in foul territory for the out. And we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning now. Still 5-1 Giants. New York Giants here in control. Bodie Kerr comes up there, takes a strike, and then a ball. In control so far in this one, 5-1. to one, Two runs in the second and three in the third for the Giants against that one run the Cubs managed to put together in the top of the second inning. Two and one now, the count is on Kerr, and there's a slider upstairs. It's three and one. That's fouled away. Full count now on Buddy. That's fouled back again. It remains full, and there's strike three. Lade gets him on the outside corner for the first out, one away. Clint Harting now takes a strike, and a ball, one and one. I'm still blown away by the fact that he had four home runs in real life. He takes two more balls. It's three and one just like that. There's a swing and a miss. It's a full count on Hartung, and that's hit over to left field. Lowry has that for the out. Two away. Willard Marshall comes up, and he'll take a strike. Fastball, 0-1, oh and, and there's a ball low to uh, Willard. It's 1-1. One and one. Fastball now high. 2-1 and one is the count, and that's fouled away. It's 2-2. Two and two. Fly ball foul left side. Still 2-2 two and two on Marshall. And that's hit deep to right center field, and uh, the center fielder path goes there for the out, and we go to the top of the fifth. Doyle Lade now takes a strike and uh, a ball, 1-1. One one. Interesting they keep him in this game. 1-2 and two now the count on Lade. It's high. It's 2-2. Two and two. And there's strike three on the outside edge, and down he goes. First strikeout for uh, Clint Hartung. 
Feels like he's had more, but um, he hasn't. Hank Edwards now. It's a ground ball straight away to Johnny Mize, who flips over to Hartung. He finds him this time for the out. Not like that error that led to that bases loaded uh, situation in the second. Herman Reich now, ground ball over to Mize. This time Johnny will do it to the bag himself, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Still 5-1 to one Giants. Here's uh, Bill Rigney. Ground ball over to second base, and Verbon has that. Throws to first. One gone. Sid Gordon now takes the ball. And that's inside, but fouled away. One and one the count. That's off the plate. Two and one. Ground ball left side, and that is through the hole. Four base hit for Gordon, um, who now is one for three today. And that'll bring up Bobby Thompson, who also has a hit. Um, So uh, the Giants uh, making some noise here. Uh, Runner on at first base with uh, one out. Bottom of the fifth. They're up 5-1. It's a slider low to Bobby. It's one and oh. And that's a fly ball straight to center field. Pafko has got that. Two away. Johnny Mize now uh, hit his 10th home run up uh, last time up. Uh, fouls one away. And that's fouled away again. It's 0-2 on Johnny. Ground ball, third base. Ramazzotti flips over to Verbon, covering second for the force, and we go to the top of the sixth. Here again is Pinas Lowry, who hits a ground ball over to uh, second base. Kerr ends up with this one, throws to first, and there's one gone. Andy Pavko now hits that one up the middle, and Kerr grabs that, throws to first, and there's two away, just like that, two pitches, two outs. Roy Smalley now takes the ball, and then a strike. One and one on Roy. Hit over to left field. Thompson, left center field, I should say. Thompson grabs that one, and he doesn't get there in time. Slides for it, and it gets past him. He gets up, runs after it. Uh, Smalley rounds the bag and ends up over at third base. That's a triple for Roy Smalley. So the uh, Cubs suddenly, with a little burst of offense here, only their sixth hit of the game uh, here in the top of the sixth inning. And uh, with two outs, Emil Verbon is going to see if he can drive the run home. It's a ball inside to Emil. It's 1-0. Ground ball right side, and he's done it. That's past Rigney for a base hit, and so Verbon comes through, and it's a 5-2 to two game. Now it's uh, Ra- Bob Ramazzotti again. One for two today. See if he can get another hit. Takes a ball, 1-0. and oh. Grounder right side in the hole, and uh, Mize grabs that one, and Hartung doesn't go to the bag again. He does a little bit of uh, ball watching, and um, it's kind of the wrong time to become a spectator for Hartung, and um, that means there'll be runners on at first and second here for the Cubs. Now, I don't think that the Cubs are going to come back in this, but you never know what's going to happen. As um, implausible as it may be, we have seen crazier things happen so far in this replay. So runners on at first and second here for the Cubs. That'll bring up Rube Walker, um, who's 0 for 2. He hits one over to right center field, first pitch swing, and it'll be Marshall grabbing that for the out, and that ends the thread. But it was a thread, and I think that's the important part. We go to the bottom of the six, and um, it's a 5-2 to two lead for the Giants. Here is Whitey Lockman. Takes a strike, uh, 0 and 1. Ground ball, second base for Bond grabs that, throws to first, one gone. Mickey Livingston up next will take a strike, 0 and 1. And swing and a miss on that is 0 and 2 on Mickey. Hit to the alley left center field, and uh, Penis Lowry goes back, grabs that for the out, two gone. Here's Buddy Kerr now. Kerr takes a ball, as way outside, 2 and 0. That's away, but he fouls it off, 2 and 1. Pop fly outside of first, it's 2 and 2 on Buddy. Fouled away again, and that's outside. It's a full count now on Buddy Kerr. And there's a swing and a miss on that breaking ball, and down he goes. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Still 5-2 to two Giants. Um, here is Doyle Late, who stays in this game, and he takes a strike and pops one up first base. Mize has that for the out, one away. Interesting they're not pinch hitting for him. Hank Edwards now, uh, next batter up, takes a strike, and then a ball high, 1-1. One and one. Low and inside, and uh, he gets out of the way, 2-1. and one. And that's uh, off the plate, three and one now to Edwards, and that's popped up, a foul, full count again. And he holds up on this one and takes the walk, walk number two given up by Hartung, and here's um, Herman Reich. Ground ball hit and run as um, turned on, Kerr makes the play, the shortstop, and throws to er first, no way to get Edwards going down to second, so there's two away. Here's Penis Lowry with a runner in scoring position, and he pops one up um, first pitch swing, and it'll be uh, Gordon, the third baseman, grabbing that in foul territory, and just like that, we go to the bottom of the seventh. And here is Clint Hartung. I've been keeping an eye on him in case he uh, would uh, have some problems with stamina because he started a game just, I think, uh, three days before this. One and one's a count on Hartung, and he's pitched pretty well. Foul the way out of play, one and two. Change up misses. It's two and two on Hartung. And that's on the inside corner for strike three. Strikeout number four for Laid, and there's one gone. Here's Willard Marshall, 0 for 2 today with a walk, score to run. Takes a ball, and then fouls one away, 1-1. One one. 
Ground ball wide at first through the hole. Base hit for Marshall, and that'll bring up uh, Bill Rigney. So runner on at first. Bill Rigney comes up here, uh, one away, bottom of the seventh inning, still 5-2 Giants. It's high to Rigney, 1-0. Ground ball to short, Smalley to Verbon, on to Reich. We go to the top of the eighth. Andy Pafko leads this off, top of the eighth inning, takes a ball, and fouls one off, 1-1. One one. That's a strike, 1-2 and two on Pafko, a little bit high. Fly ball right field, Marshall's got that, one away. Here's Roy Smalley. Smalley's 2-3, for three and he takes a strike. Then a ball outside. That's high, two and one, and that's low, three and one on Roy, and he fouls one away, so it's a full count. Hit the left center field. Center fielder Thompson goes back, grabs that for the out. There's two away, and here's Emil Verbon, who uh, takes the ball. One and oh. He's one for three today. Hits that one over to right field, and that's going to be a base hit in front of Marshall, and uh, that makes it uh, hit number seven for the Cubs. Verbon now two for four, or two for four is right. That'll bring up Bob Ramazzotti, the surprise uh, star of this game. He's two for three here for the Cubs, and they're going to pinch hit for him with who? Harry Walker, who I think is the player that we had to sit. So more weirdness by the computer manager. It's a ball inside to Walker. I hate it when this happens. The ground ball over to third base. Uh, it's Gordon who has that. Throws on to second to Rigney for the out, and we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And it will be, uh, I'm sorry, bottom of the eighth inning. It'll be Sid Gordon here to lead this off for the Giants. 5-2 Giants with the lead. There's a ball low to Gordon, 1-0, and and a strike. One for three is Gordon. Takes ball two, and that's in the dirt. Is ball three, so three and one to count, and there's a, a strike down the heart of the plate. Then a little fly ball over to left field. Lowry has that easily for the out, one away. Bobby Thompson now takes a ball inside, and there's a strike, one and one. Fouled out of play, one and two. And that fastball misses, looked good, but missed two and two the count. Ground ball to uh, the left side, Smalley, shortstop, has it, throws to first. There's two gone. Johnny Mize now. Johnny Mize takes the ball, fouls one away, one and one. That's high, two and one on Johnny. Pop up, third base side is actually going to be Smalley, the uh, shortstop, who goes over in foul territory to grab that for the out. And uh, we'll go to the top of the ninth inning. Here uh, comes uh, Rube Walker. Walker takes a strike, 0 oh, and 1. And there's a little line drive. Rigney, the uh, second baseman, grabs that for the out, one away. And they finally take uh, the pitcher out. It'll be Phil Cavaretta coming in to pinch hit. He takes a strike. And there's a ball inside, 1 and 1. And that misses low, 2 and 1. We need to get Cavaretta in this lineup. And that's up the middle for a base hit past the reach of Rigney, the second baseman. So Cavaretta gets it done, and that'll bring up Hank Edwards. The uh, leadoff hitter. And that's hit over to uh, right center field. It's going to be Thompson running back on that one, and he makes a very good catch on that one for the out, taking away an extra base hit. So there's two away. Cabaretta holds it first. This is one of those weaknesses of Diamond Mine Baseball where you can't have the runner on first base tag up in advance, but in the polo grounds, if he had that 450 feet or so away, you would probably be able to do that. Regardless, there's two away, and here's Herman Reich who takes a strike. And that's fouled away. It's 0-2 on Reich. And that's inside, and he fouls it away anyway, 0-2. And, and um, he uh, swings and misses at that one, and that'll do it. So there's your ball game. The uh, Giants win this one 5-2, uh, to two, and it's a pretty comfortable and easy win for them. And the winning streak continues. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.